What's going on guys? We're back in the shop and uh, I haven't filmed a lot of the shop cleaning, especially down there. But uh, we're actually working on the wall today right here. Um, this kind of half of the shop, or I think it's a little bit less than half or whatever it is. This is kind of the project car area. We got shipping over there, but this is like project car area. So, and kind of like the Mustang lifestyle half, um, even though we have a lot of parts all over the place. But our goal is to get everything cleaned up. These walls will actually turn pretty much white like power wash it. We actually have Blake behind the camera. He's gonna be pressure washing this. We'll try to make this wall nice and white. Uh, Ken's Terminator back in the shop. Uh, the engine seems good, but uh, the T56 Magnum is not happy. So um, he is pulling that out and he's gonna be getting a new one of those. So that's what's going on today. So we'll see uh, what this looks like clean. And I don't know, maybe uh, maybe we could clean this section too, because we could potentially just move this car forward, that car out, and then just make a whole white section. So once this place is cleaned up, it's gonna look a million times better on camera. So uh, yeah, let's hop into it. This one looks awesome. That one not so much. That one not so much. And back there looks good. So uh, looks like these guys got this area cleaned up. So now I guess we gotta kinda move the stuff that is here over that way so that way we can go ahead and get this whole area nice and cleaned up. And it's really gonna transform the way that the shop looks, you know, with this area being all clean. So yeah, I guess let's get to it. So he saw that we got a lot of the pressure washing done and um, we actually got this a little while ago. This is an electric pressure washer. Um, part of getting the shop all kind of set up and nice is we're gonna centrally locate this over there and uh, we'll always have a nice uh, pressure washer to access because obviously we have the gas one but the gas one is loud and bronze and it's gas, it's annoying. So the electric one will always be hooked up. We got this from uh, Giraffe Tools. I'm gonna try it out. It's got a 100 foot reel. And uh, yeah, we'll unbox it and uh, try to set it up.
is into land right now. But me and Brad just got finished cleaning the floor space, which we did in probably remarkable time compared to what I thought we were it was gonna take to clean it, because this area like probably two hours ago was just covered in junk. Oh. Well, it's a lot of big things. Yeah. It's mostly pallets. Pallets, seats, exhaust pipes, seats, and then the wiring harnesses that are over there in front of the Shelby. Um with these two walls, and I think you did those over there, right? With yeah, the same. All the ones over there, we're done with the, the gas pressure washer, and it's loud. Quite annoying as well. I think, from a pressure standpoint, that one has a little bit higher pressure initially, but. That one loses the pressure. The electric one maintained the pressure consistently throughout the entire thing. Right, like when. You, 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 had, you had mentioned this when I did the, uh, the walls behind me, and when you're doing those walls, you mentioned that the pressure would kind of like, it would be good at for like the first 20 seconds, and then it's, it would just deteriorate. It's really strong, and then you feel the pressure kind of diminish, and it's almost like it was just kind of slowing down as it worked, whereas the electric one, it maintains a very consistent pressure. It's nice. It's an, I think this is a nice pressure washer. I thought it was going to be a lot weaker than the uh, the gas one, but you just did this whole strip, and it only took about, I want to say, like 45 seconds to do that whole top part, and you didn't have to stop or anything, and it actually cleaned it really good. You can't tell me that's not a party piece right there. So overall review of this pressure washer versus the gas one. Uh, to be honest, I think any shop that needs any kind of pressure washing, if you're gonna be in an enclosed space, I would highly recommend this. It kicked ass on this wall here. It doesn't put out the exhaust. I mean, my wife works here with us. She's highly asthmatic. I just did this whole section not one issue from her so if you got a pool deck you got a shop one in your own house highly recommend this unlike the motor one over there um the gas one this thing it's in one central location it can be used to wash cars go it can go outside it reaches i think it's like a hundred feet hose it's got a hundred foot hose so it, it can easily you know reach out in that corner that area it can reach out in that area it can reach outside it's it's nice it's compact it was super easy to mount. I put four bolts into it. It comes with anchors and lag screws. So if you're mounting it outside on a concrete block, perfect for that. We mounted it on the beam. So I use bolts and nuts. 